New Year's Eve is tomorrow. The year 2017 is about to begin. Many people would say that 2016 was an awful year. It was a year of change. And as usual, there were wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and hurricanes and tornadoes. There were the poor. There were those who took advantage of the poor. There were all the things that have existed with mankind since the beginning of time. There was a breaking away from the European Union of Great Britain, Brexit, a major breakout, and as many have called the similar breakout, a Brexit, a conservative reaction here in the United States with the election of Donald J. Trump as president. It was a response that was dramatic, a response that was asking us to return to original values, to get rid of big government, to allow for individual rights and individuals to be heard. Now you're going to hear differences of opinion on what it really means. But I believe that the platform that was chosen was a dramatically improved one, one that takes us to our constitutional beginnings, to our country's beginnings, which were based on Judeo-Christian values that have been fast falling away over the last several decades here in the United States. Today, immorality reigns. And to a great extent, because people have forgotten, haven't heard, and or God has been taken out of our society. There are those who uh, respond differently. There are those who stick to and try to live out their biblical roots. There are those who have used it this last year to be one of transformation and give a resolution, if you will, for 2017 to continue to be changed transformed, transformed. Paul, Apostle Paul, said in Romans that we are to be transformed by the renewing of our minds and not let the worldly things be what guides us, but be transformed, that we, our minds would become more like Christ's. Our minds would become more selfless, not more selfish. Transformation. I don't know what it means for you. For me, the transforming of my mind, the renewing of a spirit by God, is one of hope. Love, joy, hope. Hope is important. This next year and in a couple of days, if you watch this blog or listen to this blog, you will hear and read a story of the new year and resolutions. The resolution is more about a word I have chosen, I have resolved. I have chosen a word as a character of God from one of the words that represents part of the fruit of the Spirit that I would choose joy. The last couple of years I have chosen faithfulness, God's faithfulness, and then therefore hopefully my faithfulness, kindness to be kind. Last year, gentleness. Now, I haven't completed this, not that I have, had, have already completed or achieved these things, but I press on. I will continue to try to live out these words and to enjoy in this next year Enjoy is a choice, to find myself joyful. Now, that's not happy. Happy is one of those things that, ugh, you just, you want to be happy through the ups and downs of circumstances. Well, you will not be always happy. You will be unhappy at times and happy at others. But joy is the recognition that you may live with a sense of peace and joy, as Romans 
8, 15, 13 talks about being filled by the Holy Spirit, knowing that God is with you, God is in you. Now that's transformation. That's the transformation of the mind through the Spirit. And that's what I'm shooting for in 2017, day by day, with God's help. Amen.